Hey there everybody, LEGO Clone Addict here with yet another video. This is the commentary of LEGO Star Wars, the uh, Christmas special also known as The Dinner. Um, this is my longest Burke film, if you don't include the LEGO Zombie Apocalypse interactive game, which was a bastard child in my videos, if you can call it that. Mostly because it got so many views, probably with all the videos combined, like 20,000 views. And it was such a poor quality, I don't want to give people that impression about my channel. Because now I make some decent quality stuff like like this here, um, and even some better stuff eventually. Uh, so, yeah, I don't like to talk about that. Anyway, so this video, like I mentioned, is uh, about twice as long. My uh, Usually my videos are about 22 minutes long, and this one's about four. Uh, so there's a lot of filler, and I'm going to have to talk about stuff, but I'll, I'm sure I'll find something to talk about. Um, anyway, so as you can see behind Darth Vader, there is a Han Solo Frozen in Carbonite, the original one from the 2002, I think, Boba Fett uh, Slave 1 set. Uh, I never got that set, but I just kind of got that from a store, uh, a Lego reseller, Han Solo Frozen in Carbonite. Anyway, so... This is a, uh, uh, the Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite, I keep saying that a lot, has been in my, uh, video since Lego Star Wars The Board Meeting, which was kind of my rebirth into Brick Films, or, uh, reintroduction, because I used to do Brick Films way long ago, like, uh, back in 2011 and 2012, but they were such poor quality, um, like, I would get a bad digital camera, like, really bad, and then I would take a small clip, about four tenths of a second, and I would edit those together. Like, if you see some of my older brick films, they're really bad. So please don't have that impression about my skills today by watching those brick films. Uh, but yep, so here we go. Uh, a big advancement for me in this brick film was uh, the fact that every character with an exposed face, like Luke and the Emperor, uh, have alth, alth, mouth animations that... So well, the mouth movement matches up to their uh, what their the syllables about 95% of the time, except for the argument scene, which is coming up here in a second, uh, because the argument scene. Um, wait for it. Yeah. So here's the argument scene. It's not very. It doesn't look very argumentative, but I just thought it would take a while to animate Luke's mouth while he was moving, and I was five days late. Because if you look. I wanted to post this video on December 25th, but I posted it on December 30th, five days later. So I just thought, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll, nobody will catch that, which nobody really cares, but whatever. Uh, here's Furry Cheese with his little soliloquy here. And yeah, so um, nearing the end of the video here, um, you know, get some crap in about the Christmas spirit and stuff, and then they eat him. Uh, um, it's kind of like the stuff I like to do, you know, make something all serious, and then it just kind of falls apart into comedy. That hopefully you, uh, the viewer may or may not like. Uh, but here we go, me again, the stormtrooper. I played four parts in this movie. Um, uh, all four of those guys at the table there. Um, and here's the stormtrooper with his solilo his soliloquy, soliloquy. Um, and he's doing stuff about Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Ramazan. What, what do Scientologists celebrate? Um, but, you know, I thought that's funny to put that in with all the political correctness in the world today, I guess. Um, at the end of this, like right there, at the end of the credits there, um, I credited, I actually credited Domino's Pizza because one night I was hungry and I brought a piece of pizza up to my room and ate it. Anyway, so uh, thanks guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next commentary. See ya.